Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the liquify tool in After Effects um, to show you how to warp things like a face or anything you want. So, um, I will be showing you my demon face effect where I kind of morph into this creepy demon. Um, and what I did was I used the liquify tool to um, warp my face. And then I just applied a blue uh, tint over my face and then put this texture so that I kind of had this wrinkly, crackly demon warp face, which was pretty cool. Um, so, if you don't know how to make a demon face video, check out Andrew Kramer's tutorial on Video Copilot. I, I don't want to make a tutorial because he makes the best tutorials for everything. So, um, it's really complicated the way you set this up, but... I mean, once you understand it, it's pretty simple. Anyway, I'm just going to be going over the tool. So, let's um, uncheck the adjustment layer and the texture, just so it's my warped face. And we are going to go to our effects, liquify. And this tool right here just erases everything that you've done. So, now my face should be completely unliquefied. Okay, so what you can do is um, use this tool, which is, I don't know what they call it on After Effects. Um, I'm used to liquify on Photoshop. The warp tool. Okay, so drop down your options and you can change your brush size. This basically is just your area of effect. So if I click right here, it'll I can warp it from that huge brush. And then if I bring it down, it'll warp a smaller point. Okay, um, this is the turbulence tool. Oh, by the way, bring your brush pressure up to 100% or just mess with it. 100% just gives you faster results or more, more um, intensified results. So anyway, the turbulence tool does just what it says. It just adds a sort of turbulence. And then these are the twirl tools. Twirl an area. You can grab the opposite direction. I can kind of rotate my eyes all creepily. Uh, this is the pucker tool. And it basically just puckers anything inward, which is very nice because that can be very helpful. I used it for... Both of my demon taste, uh, the demon test videos that I have on my second channel, and if you actually look at the tool on a mouth, your lips literally get puckered, just like in um, sour candy commercials, or you know, it's just that that really kind of cheesy um, classic pucker. So I always thought that was kind of funny. Okay, so next tool, your bloat tool. And this does just what it says. It bloats things and puffs them out and makes them fat. So, yeah, it's pretty great. And then you can change the distortion percentage right here. And it'll kind of um, fade your distortion in or out. And so what you can do is um, keyframe it in. So, like, that's how I do my demon faces. Like, you don't want it like this. You know, you want... I don't want this bulge chin. I want to, these effects to come on when I'm in my face so I can keyframe it on here, keyframe it off here, and then I can watch it slowly warp. So, let me show you how I would go about making a creepy demon face. Okay. Oh, another cool thing you can do is an is affect an an entire area, and then use the reconstruct tool to bring like half of it back to the original. So watch, I could pucker in my face, <laughs> um, and then use the reconstruct to paint back the other half of my face. 
so that I have a kind of unbalanced creepiness to myself. Okay, let's restore myself to normal. There we go. And you're not really going to use these for many things. The reflection tool, I don't understand it. Just kind of immediately distorts everything. So if I bring the brush pressure down, I, I it just kind of puts a hole in everything. If I bring it down to one, it'll... Let's see what that does. No? Let's try 24. Yeah, it's just, that's an annoying tool. Don't worry about that one. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I would go about making a demon face. So, basically, what we would do, obviously do these two features, but, um, let me show you how I'd warp it. Okay, so the first idea I had was to bring down my mouth, um, with the, um, warp tool. So how I would do that was get a bigger brush, where are you, maybe 100, grab it, stretch it down, grab it here on the chin, stretch it down, then pull these out a little bit, and then grab a smaller brush, stretch this part down, and maybe grab a very big brush and bring like my whole face down a little bit. Um, and you can do anything you want, um, nose, pucker that in or make a smaller pucker size and pucker the nostrils in, that's kind of creepy. Um, and then you could bloat the nose and make a creepy ugly demon. Um, puff out any creepy features along the face. Um, and then also for the nose, I also like to um, grab my warp tool and just stretch it out um, do all that, but then what I like to do is grab a slightly bigger brush and just bring my nose up, and then bring all this up, so that just makes for a super creepy demon. Um, and then I can make my eyes frown, bring them down and do strange things, and then I could also displace my face like that. And if you've reversed motion track it, motion tracked it for stabilization then you could keyframe this in and out and it would stick to the face so that is that for demon faces um i will see you guys later with more tutorials uh hopefully there'll be tutorials but um subscribe and comment um i really appreciate comments so all that um would be greatly appreciated so i will see you later guys thanks bye